Here you have Gats haircut and a style. Roll that tape. To start this haircut, what you see me doing is basically a section on the front so I can separate the banks. The banks is a focal point on this haircut. Because this is a mannequin hair, I'm going to be leaving the hair a little bit longer than normal. Why? Because these mannequins don't always behave well with the hair. So you see what I'm cutting the length of the bangs, so you can cut a little bit shorter if you want. So if your mind is going to be three and a half to four fingers, you can do it two and a half to three and a half fingers. So you can start cutting the hair by cutting a piece on the center using the freeform cutting technique with the razor and just design exactly the length that you want it. After you got that one, just keep continuing doing around the head. Just go one side first and then go to the other side and just keep it kind of even and straight on the front. He has kind of particular bangs. It looks like a hair that it could be styled back, but then you use a few of them, they're just kind of falling forward. As you can see on the picture, the bangs are a little bit shorter, but as I mentioned before, if it was an Amaniki head, most likely it wouldn't do behave well and I wouldn't be able to put them forward. This is a very masculine haircut, so it's going to be completely a square shape. So I'm going to be cutting first on the top, using as a guide the bangs, bring it up and cut it across. You can use point cutting or you can use texturizing sears, whatever you want to do to get the finished look that you need. As you can see, I'm measuring the four fingers and point cutting across. Obviously, you can cut a straight line and then texturize it more if you want it later. I think it's just by point cutting, you actually get a better finish from the beginning. To cut the basic part of this haircut, I'm going to be using the French method. So I'm going to be cutting first the top in a square shape, going all around from the front to the back, and then I'm going to be going on the sides and go around the head. For that, I'm going to be using my Matsukasi shears. These are my long shears. Now that you see me cutting on the sides, you see how valuable it is to have a long blade to cut the hair so you can cut it all at once, so I don't have to cut a lot of times. The tools that you use make the biggest difference when you cut the hair, so make sure you get some really good blades when you do this work. To create great work, you need to have good tools. That's why I never mind to invest money on my tools. Now, as you can see, I'm continuing with the French method on the nape area, and I'm using the guide that I create on this side to the length that I want to create on the bottom. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer on the nape because I'm going to finish it up when it's dry with the razor so I can get more personalized. As you can see on the nape area, I'm connecting the length that I previously cut with whatever I want to create on my length. And I leave it a little bit longer so I can come back with the razor and texturize it a little bit and give it the final look that I want. This whole basic haircut shouldn't take more than four or five minutes. Now you can see me using the feather razor on the nape to create a finished look that I want very personalized and unique. Now take your time to make this perfect. The good news is that you can actually personalize even if you has calyx. So you can leave it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter it depends on what the calyx have given you. At this point, I'm going to be using my Matsukasi texturizing shears with the wider teeth so I can texturize the hair all around the head. You can do this by starting on the bottom and walk your way up. Or you can start on the top and walk your way down, whatever works for you best. Basically, what I'm doing is removing about one finger of length on the ends. This is going to give me the texture that I want, then it's going to make it look like a razor cut without the razor feel. Now, in the case of the guts sideburns, it's a very unique way of cutting it. You actually have to remove only the bottom part of it. So I start the process by cutting the length and then I cut the side going around only to this point on the ear. Now you only want to go to that point. If you pass that, it's going to look way different. You want to stop there, don't go around the curve of the ear. Now after you're done with that, you can use the clipper over the comb and clean up the area. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. I'll need you on the channel. I love this technique to feather the hair. You can see me using the comb and then coming with the feather razor and just create a short long because that's what it needs this haircut. This technique is super effective and impactful. To blend the sides, I'll be using the thinning shears. This style is going to require a lot of volume. For that, I'm going to be using clay from 1821. It's going to give me the volume that I need and keep it my finish like I want it. Make sure the product gets rolling through the roots so you can get the volume that you want. It's very important that for this style, you use the air to give you the direction that you want on the haircut. You are not going to be using a brush, so the air is going to give you all the direction that you need. So make sure that you focus, as you can see me going up, or upper, or up, or down on the banks. See, I'm just using only my fingers and pushing the hair up. Now, if your hair is a little bit shorter, it will get sticking up a little bit more and it will look a little bit more pointy. Now, the banks, just see how I'm using the air and push the hair down but it's still maintaining the four back. So I'm just only picking a few hairs and pushing them down. 
Now, as you can see, the style is coming really great. Now, do not use the brush like I mentioned before. If you use a ram brush on this, it's going to look like a grandma, okay? Nobody wants to look like grandma if you want to look like guts. Get my point, no? If you like, check out the videos that I do on TikTok at HairbenderYT. To get more definition on the points of this hairstyle, I'm going to be using wax from 1821. That's going to help me out to make it more PC. You don't need to use a lot of product, just a little bit. If your hair is very straight, maybe you won't even have to do this much work. This particular hair has a little more of the wave, so I had to actually work a little more to it. As always, you know, I'm going to be using some hair spray to try to make it look a little more like the picture. As I mentioned at the beginning, I did a little bit longer than maybe guts will have it. So if you want to do the same haircut but a little bit shorter, it's going to look great and it will last you a little longer. Here you have the 360 view on this particular hairstyle. Hope you love it. This haircut is going to look good on all face types, but it's going to look fantastic if you have an angular face or a square face. Let me know in the descriptions if it's somebody else that you want me to do on the channel. Thank you to the tool company Coco for sponsoring this video. I've been using their tools for the last two years on my videos. Check the link on the description for a 20% discount using the code HAIRBENDER20 on all their tools. This is Angel Dazuar, the HAIRBENDER.